Well, we're back to talk more on The Breakfast this morning. We have Mike Osatui, who joins us this morning, an official of IPMAN. Mike, thank you so much for making our time to be part of the show. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. All right, then let's run through, uh, you know, what exactly oil marketers are saying. Uh, we have reports saying that uh, the oil marketers have proposed to the federal government that the natural gas dispenser be co-located on their network of gas stations, numbering about 30,000 in order to mitigate the effects of petrol subsidy removal. However, the federal government has said that it would also hold subsidy in June 2023, with just a few more days from that, budgeting only 3.35 trillion naira for half-year payment. Now, recently, it might interest you to know that uh, Zainab Ahmed, Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, had disclosed that the federal government had secured the sum of $800 million from the World Bank as part of a post-subsidy palliative plans. There was a letter that was dated the 3rd of April 2023 that was addressed to Ahmed, the Independent, not, uh, Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria. Ipman presented a palliative situation and solution to cushion the effect of you know, the removal of energy subsidy. The association said that it has existing agreement with gas analytics and solution limited to install natural gas dispensers. According to them, this collaboration uh, with Ipman presents the most economic and expedient platform to deploy necessary infrastructure that's to support the fast national rollout of C and G4 vehicles. Uh, this is what the letter actually said. No time to go through all of that. But Ipman has also highlighted the need for, you know, uh, the CBN to release intervention fund for the National Gas Expansion Program as loans to vehicle owners to acquire gas conversion kit. Now, Mike Osatui is an Ipman official. He joins the conversation this morning. Mike, once again, thank you for making our time. Yeah, thank you. Good morning. Can you quickly take us through, Nigerians, you know, what the plan of Ipman is, this proposal, how does that, you know, stop or mitigate the effect of subsidy removal? Yeah, uh, thank you. Good morning once again. You know that uh, when the the movement comes to the, then you see the price will go up. And that now, uh, the crude price around the dollars per barrel, and if we try that one to template, it is going to be around six hundred per liter. And everywhere that um, uh, we have petrol, we have gas, we have abundant. So the government can also them in empowering the members, patients. To install a CNG and then put their patient that can be an option to the, I mean, to very good. And it's cheaper, it's cleaner, and we have, we have one that can have a for a year. So that, that's an option that we are proposing. And not, and not that uh, we have the SPC patient. So we're not going to be building in this patient to get it uh, achieved. So if money is ready, the come with the government say that uh, we can use our state of PNG that we power the vehicle. And we can also use PNG also and FPG to power the electric in the house. So we have the most popular uh, use of that. Mike. Mike, if you can hear me, we, we seem not to have a smooth connection from your end. I would also advise if you can just, you know, move a little bit to the left and the right, you know how the network can be sometimes so we can have a better reception it's poor and we can barely make sense of what you're saying but um, if you can still hear me hoping that you're able to uh, move to the right or your left I'm asking that you should take us through how that can cushion the effect of you know uh, the subsidy removal because your organize I mean your association is saying that um, this is actually the best way you know, this is the way out. So can you quickly take us through the how? How, you know, is that going to happen? Show us and tell us, you know, in real time. We have the stations. Can you hear me now? Day. Mike, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So I'm asking that how is this going to solve the problem of, you know, the effects of, um, subsidy removal. We know that the prices of petrol would go up. 
we can't for sure say how much petrol will be selling for. Some people have pegged it at 500. Others are saying it probably might be selling for 750 per liter. Others are saying 800. But your, the, you know, Ipman's position is that these would help mitigate the effect of you know, uh, the removal. So ag again, so that the CBN can grant you this funds, what ex how is this going to happen? Can you take us through, you know, the how? Yeah, what I'm saying is that uh, in Manhattan, it is on the way, both in rural area and urban area. And if they can give uh, support, CNG can be installed in the station. CNG is completely to gap, which is an option to feed the bell coast. And this also can be used for generator in the house. So since we have the stations, and if this, this equipment are installed, Vehicles can drive in, direct the underwater petrol, and fill up and go. So um, the gas is pumped and it's cleaner, and it didn't have gas in a part, in a, in a border that can last us about 20 years. So we are proposing an option for uh, for the government so that uh, this thing can mitigate the increase in price of petrol when subsidies removed. Well, uh, so what level is Ipman on at this point in time in terms of the stage? You're talking about 30,000 uh, dispenser gas uh, station. Uh, what's the level that Ipman is on now? What's the stage? Yeah, we have uh, a partner and we already have support of the government so that we have the system for people already. So we just for us to get the equipment I'm getting installed. That's all. I mean, so I'm also saying, you know, with the federal government and the phones, the letter that has been put out, where exactly are you are at uh, talking stage? Have you moved? What's the response from the government? We have, we have, we have, we have the first of all, we We have the situation, both the city and the ambulance. So, we just want the funding from government with my members. So that we can get this uh, in some of our stations, I mean, for the benefit of Nigeria. Mm. So, I mean, you're saying that you have been in touch with the federal government? We have already received the government, I mean, the Minister of Finance, for this project. And uh, I can have the government to get that. So what what's the progress? Uh, we are waiting for a call from the government, but we believe in it that they will, they will respond to us positively. Because this is, this is a very good uh, means of mitigating the increase in price of petrol. Uh, well, subsidies Michael Satoye, uh, what, what we have to do at this point is just quickly take a short break. We hope that that would last for a minute or two so we're able to have a smooth connection and not uh, able to make sense of all that you're saying, unfortunately. Please stay with us. Well, so we, we have been reconnected with uh, Mike Osatouye. Uh, thank you so much for being with us, Ipman Official. Yeah, well, yeah, good morning. Yes. Well, so, so quickly now, can you bring us up to speed with, you know, the progress that Ipman has made in terms of this gas dispensers, uh, about 30,000 of them, and, you know, where you are now, asking for funds from the Central Bank of Nigeria? Uh, you know that uh, this project is a good project, which we need the uh, support of the government. That's why we are with the Minister of Finance and to see the effort, I mean, for support. So I need, I need our support to the government to bring down the price of uh, petrol. I mean, in terms of option that the can have at to. Because uh, we're not going to get it cheaper. And uh, you know, gas is clean now. And if we get it in our system, we can, can drive in and fill up. And we can also use gas for our generator in the house when it's being converted. So all these options are available, which we do a long way in uh, reducing the burden on the market in terms of pricing. 
So uh, uh, we'll, we'll just let it, you know, go at this point in time. You also have uh, those who are associated with you, a bit of them who are saying that, you know, the federal government should go ahead and uh, suspend the removal of subsidy. Uh, is, is that also the position of IPMEN? No, 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 no. We are support of removing the subsidy. We are very represent, but at the same time, we also prepare the system to the increase in price by installing PNG equipment in our stations so that people can, can have access to the bank. And you know, guys, we have it about about that day. The work has us for 20 years. We have it. We are number nine in the whole world. And number one in Africa in some of the guys that. So, I mean, so we don't have to pay import. Mike, can you hear me? Yes. So, do, do you think that the central bank or the government would actually heed to your requests? Uh, you said you've made progress in terms of engaging the government. Do you see the government responding or the CBN responding in a positive light? Uh, well, I think that's you know, we need to work together on the office and the stakeholders with the government. Because what matters is what is the solution to the increase in price of petrol when the most of the So we have to sit down. And and I don't just think that was the way out. And we are now coming up coming up with this option so that uh, you can work. I know we have the special measure wise. So we are not talking of building a new station. It's just to install the equipment and fill up. So that uh, that's a very fast option to uh, reduce the burden on the masses. Because we are, in fact a lot of great uh guys about forty percent cheaper. Down Mike, we have to go now. And thank you so much for making our time to be with us. Uh, we'll definitely have this conversation in the coming days as we inch closer to the date of the removal of petrol subsidy. And let's see what happens. If, if your association is saying that you have a solution, you know, to help cushion the effect, then uh, let's see how that pans out. Thank you so much this thank morning. You. Well, we have been speaking with Mike Osatuye, who is, you know, the national controller of IPMEN uh, right here in Lagos. Thank you once again for being part of the show. We'll, we'll take a break and when we return, we'll shift our attention to security votes and the fact that uh, governors probably might just be under a lot of pressure at this point in time over, you know, the recent measures that has been taken by the government to ensure uh, management of these security votes that are not... It's, there's no constitutional provision for it. Stay with us.